Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTexHomePage.com as well as the OracleTexHomePage.com app and the OracleTex Weather Authority app. Here is a look at, uh, first of all, a few thunderstorms. Early this uh, Thursday afternoon, you can see the activity uh, to the north of the OracleTex. It is quite possible that we could see this uh, move into the northern sections of the area later on this evening, but probably will be weakening as it does enter the area. The Storm Prediction Center does indicate there is a low end risk that a storm or two could be strong here across the northeastern edge of the Oracle Tex with wind, probably the biggest concern if it's a big if we have anything as far as severe weather. And uh, we will see the opportunity for showers and thunderstorms increase here for the next couple of days. Uh, I should say the storm predict predictions that are not showing much as far as severe weather yet uh, for tomorrow or for the 4th of July. You can see that uh, there are really no risk areas anywhere near the Oracle Tex, at least right now. But a few storms could be on the strong side as any storm here in July often is. Here's a look at the weather pattern. You can see that uh, uh, we are looking at the upper level ridge here across the Oracle Tex, uh, basically keeping us mainly dry and hot. It is going to slowly migrate to the west here and kind of settle into the southwestern sections of the country. And that's what's going to allow the showers and thunderstorms to increase for the next couple of days. As far as uh, the rainfall potential, you can see Futurecast showing those thunderstorms kind of falling apart as they skirt across the northeastern edge of the area. But again, one or two could be on the strong side for your Friday. You can see the development of those scattered thunderstorms uh, across the Oracle Tex here with some of them quite strong. So again, a severe thunderstorm or two can't totally be ruled out uh, for your Friday. That activity very quickly falls apart Friday evening. And then for the 4th of July, expect a mix of clouds and sunshine. Again, in the heat of the afternoon, those scattered showers and thunderstorms will redevelop. You can see here we are at 6 p.m. Notice how quickly the activity falls apart as we go through uh, basically uh, Saturday evening for the 4th of July evening and fireworks. Any rain should be weakening uh, across the area once we get past sunset uh, Saturday uh, evening. And this will probably repeat itself through the middle part of next week. We'll continue to see that ridge off to the west, but eventually that ridge is going to uh, re-strengthen and re-establish itself across the middle of the country. So here's how it moves. You can see it moving into the western sections of the country. It's thunderstorms here to the east of it. Then you can kind of see it expanding back to the east. By the time we get to Thursday of next week, that's when we will shut off the rain and start to crank up the heat as we could see some of the hottest temperatures of the summer so far by the end of next weekend. Now, as far as, as, far as rainfall potential, this is the low resolution version of Futurecast and uh, probably, uh, generally speaking, you might expect to see a good uh, a half an inch to an inch basically from now through Monday, but a few isolated spots that get a couple of those stronger thunderstorms could get a bit more. So uh, some decent rain on the way here for the next couple of days. So your seven day forecast looks like this. Uh, we will see temperatures uh, moderate somewhat here in the week ahead with uh, daytime highs easing into the lower 90s Tuesday could stay in the upper 80s for highs. So you can see once we shut off the rain, we start to crank up the heat. 94 for Thursday. We could have upper 90s in here by the end of next week. Nighttime lows in the week ahead will stay in the mid 70s and no doubt heat index values will be a concern once again by the time we get to the end of next week. So on and off, the chance for those scattered thunderstorms will be on the increase starting Friday and that chance of rain will last through at least the middle of next week.